to our channel. I'm going to answer one of the most frequently asked questions in this channel that is which feeding bottle and ml and the feeding nipple size that I used for Olive when she was a tiny baby which was less than 3 kgs. So today I'm going to discuss that in detail. Don't skip this video, watch this video until the end. And hey if you're new to this channel, I'm Tina, I'm a health psychologist. I'm also a mom of a preterm baby who was born at 30 weeks with 1.27 kgs of weight. And now she's an adorable toddler of 11.7 kgs. And I thank God so much for how wonderfully she is growing. I've also written a book for preterm babies, especially the parents and families of preterm babies, to help them on how they can take care of their preterm babies. I've included topics like weight gain tips, feeding, sleeping, bath, and tips for moms and kangaroo mother care and loads of other information. I highly recommend you get this book. It's available on Flipkart, Notion Press and Amazon. You also have an ebook available on Amazon Kindle. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Straight to the point, I used Butts Buddy 60 ml feeding bottle. This is not a sponsored or a promotional video. I have genuinely used this and you can see this is the picture. Uh, I've selected this bottle because first of all it is very small, it is only 60 ml. So the nipple size of the feeding bottle is very very small which was very comfortable for her tiny mouth. Her mouth was literally this small. So I almost remember that day searching for bottles. I almost looked at all the brands, all the bottles. And finally, I selected this Butts Buddy. At first, I purchased an Avent Philips 120ml bottle. That was little bottle, but it was wide and the nipple was even wider. They have created that. It's an excellent bottle, excellent nipple, but I would suggest only that after four cages. When your baby's mouth is a little wider and your baby can have that big nipple in their mouth without getting themselves choked. So when I first purchased that and I started feeding to Olive, she refused it. She was crying. Basically, she was not able to drink because she was completely choking. That nipple was big. It was completely full in her mouth and she was not able to even swallow or even do anything with that in her mouth. It was completely choking. So then I realized that she needs a smaller nipple size. So I purchased this lovely bottle. I got a pink one. <laughs> so there are many types in that. And you can also see that um, the nipple has the spiral inside it. So it avoids a lot of air bubbles to get into the baby's stomach. I've selected this bottle because it was first, it was small in size, the nipple size was small, it was easy to handle, Olive did not choke on that and it was easy to clean. <laughs> so these were my top uh, priority list on why I've chosen this and it is BPA free of course. I've also made a detailed playlist on feeding bottles and formula milk. You can check out these playlists uh, for more information on that. So that's it for this video. I hope you got the right answer. If you don't have Butts Buddy available in your place, you can look for the things that I have told you. The right nipple size, it should be small, 60 ml. The nipple size should be small. Compare, you compare the nipple sizes, open the caps of all the bottles and then you compare, you easily can understand that. So I hope you learned something out of this. I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, take care of yourselves and take care of your little ones. Bye-bye.